Hi, so if you've ever tried to migrate a virtual box into ESXi, uh, you'll realize that the OVF and OVA formats, even though they're supposed to be a standard of compatibility, they really aren't when it comes to going between these two platforms. Uh, after many attempts of trial and error, uh, I wound up finding a solution, which is we take an image of the virtual box drive and then bring that into uh, ESXi. Uh, the process uh, is a, a little odd, but pretty straightforward. So let's get right into it. So there are a few prerequisites that you'll need. Uh, one, of course, being Clonezilla. You'll need a hard drive at, at least the same size as a virtual box drive or slightly larger. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the hard disk manager from Paragon Software. There is a free trial, so you don't have to buy it. All right, what we're gonna do now is go into format partition. All right, and let's rename the drive and I'm going to choose uh, EXFS3. And it's just letting us know that it's gonna erase. We'll click yes. And then apply operations. A few moments later, all right, now that that's done, let's go over to VirtualBox. And you wanna make sure that you have the uh, extensions pack installed, otherwise your drive won't be detected in VirtualBox. I already have it installed, so I won't reinstall it. I'm just gonna click cancel. And now let's go into settings, storage, and we're gonna mount our ISO. And that is the Clonezilla ISO. All right, and the USB controller, you wanna make sure that it's USB 3 or 2, depending on what your PC or you know machine that you're running these virtual machines on uh, has built in. If you're not sure, you might wanna check with your uh, manufacturer's kind of specifications for that specific uh, hardware. All right, let's go ahead and start the web server in VirtualBox. And now instead of booting up, it's obviously gonna go into Clonezilla. All right, so let's make that uh, a little bit larger. Uh, while I'm doing that, you'll notice that I have a keyboard uh, kind of like on screen. And I have that because for whatever reason, the uh, keyboard that I have has some sort of a delay which causes me to have uh, like double clicks and double returns. So I just use the on screen keyboard to avoid any double clicking or double like returns on the keyboard. All right, I'm gonna go into USB settings and just make sure that my Lacey drive appears. And it is that mini USB 3.0, which is perfect. So I know that it's being detected by VirtualBox. I'm not gonna click on it yet. I just wanted to verify that it was there. All right, now we can choose our language. And of course that's going to be English for me here. All right, we're gonna keep the default layout of the keyboard and let it run. All right, let's start Clonezilla. We're gonna be doing device image, work with disks or partitions. All right, we're gonna use a local device and let's hit enter to continue. Okay, at this point, this is where we want to uh, go into our devices in VirtualBox and click on the USB drive that we have connected. In my case, it's this Lacey. All right, now we'll give it a second. Once it's detected, you can go ahead and hit, it and hit return to continue. Actually, it's control C. All right. All right, from here, we need to mount a device as forward slash home, forward slash part image. And this is essentially being mounted to the operating system that's Clonezilla. We're gonna choose our external drive. Uh, in my case, it's the Lacey uh, rugged mini USB 3. All right, now it's asking, hey, where can I put images in this uh, drive? Where's the repository? Uh, by default, it's gonna be the root of the drive. 
which is perfect. Uh, they're showing you that forward slash there. You can tab down and go over to done. All right, and we don't need to go into export expert mode or anything. We're not doing anything fancy. We're going straight uh, with the beginner stuff. Uh, we're gonna save the entire disk. We're not gonna save parts. All right, and let's give it a name. Uh, we'll do, for instance, image uh, transfer. And okay. All right, from here, it wants us to choose the source, and the source is, of course, our virtual bar, virtual box hard drive, or the virtual box, uh, virtual machine, whatever you want to call it. Let's hit OK. All right, and it's asking, hey, do you want to do a file system check? We're going to skip it. We don't want to do it. And then we'll also skip checking the image just to speed things up. You can also, you can do these things if you find them necessary, but I feel it's a waste of time. All right, and then you can either reboot or shut down, or you have the option to choose once it's completed. In my case here, uh, I'm just gonna choose it once the process is complete. All right, let's hit enter and continue, continue. Let's let all this stuff load through. And we'll do yes. All right, so the process has started. Uh, I'm gonna cut here and come back once it's done. 2,000 years later. All right, so the process has just come to an end. The uh, cloning or imaging has completed. At this point, uh, you want to shut down the VirtualBox VM and eject the hard drive that you just copied the image to and bring it over to your ESXi uh, machine and plug it into the USB port there. All right, so heading over to our ESXi login window, I'm just gonna minimize this uh, on-screen keyboard here and let's log into our ESXi session. Go ahead and create a new VM. All right, we'll give it a name. It's just our web server trans transfer. All right, the guest OS family is going to be uh, Linux. And Ubuntu. All right. We're gonna adjust some settings here. Uh, first off, the hard disk size. You want it to be at least the size of your image. Uh, I'm gonna go with 180 gigs here. All right, uh, USB 3 for me. It might be 2 for you, depending on the hardware that your uh, ESXi is running on. All right, and we're gonna choose an ISO file. All right, the uh, Clonezilla, if you don't have it, you want to upload it. Uh, this is required. You really no way around it. All right, and we're also going to add another device. Uh, the device is, of course, going to be USB, and you want to make sure that you select your hard drive. All right, everything looks good. Give it one quick over. Make sure nothing funky going on. And we'll click finish. 
All right, once, once it's completed and created, let's go ahead and start it up. Let's go ahead and uh, log into Clonezilla. All right, same files here. Uh, we're gonna choose English, our keyboard layout. Just get through the basics and let's start Clonezilla. Uh, device image. Nothing changes here. Uh, local device, because it's plugged in with USB. You're gonna hit continue. And unlike the virtual box, both drives will uh, appear immediately since we already specified the external drive before. Let's control C out of here. All right. And here we're gonna choose a device to mount of course, it's going to be our external drive. It automatically only gives you that option. All right, and it's gonna be the root of the drive, same as before. We can do beginner mode. It has all the options we need. And we're gonna choose restore disk. Be careful not to choose restore parts. All right, and that's our image transfer. We just created, uh, you might have more options on this list if you've created images before, but since this is our only one, uh, it gives us that option by default. And then it says, hey, where do you want to restore the data? We're gonna choose our virtual disk All right, and uh, we're gonna skip the checking the image before restoring, and we'll choose what we wanna do once the process completes. All right, and we'll yes through all of these options, confirming that we wanna erase the disk and we're gonna lose all the data, yada, yada, yada. All right, we'll let this process run. And once this completes, uh, we'll be back to try the VM and see if it starts. Two hours later. All right, so the process just completed. Uh, at this point, the uh, virtual machine is gonna shut down. Let's head over and unmount the uh, ISO. All right, now that we've got that ISO unchecked and it's not connecting, start the VM up and you should see your standard server login. All right, since this is a trial uh, kind of demo server here, we've got a standard name and nothing too fancy. And from here, as you can see, we've logged in. You have successfully transferred VirtualBox server to ESXi. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you next time.